that was given in the tour of the Roosevelt. President, the President yes. got along. Well, hello there. It's been a long time since 1981 when you were here before. Well, I said, hey, when? Yes, we met right here. Good to see you. Good to see you. I know that we... Master Manning, Mr. President, the hearings are about over on Capitol Hill. Have you heard any evidence that any laws were violated in the Grand Contra affair? You know, I don't take questions at these photo opportunities, but when you ask a question like that, I haven't heard a single word indicated in any of the testimony that laws were broken. In that case, do you think that uh, Colonel North, uh, Admiral Poindex, or others deserve pardons at this point, just to prevent any kind of prosecution? I am going to speak out on that whole subject and the subject of this whole affair when the hearings are over. Are you at all worried about your surgery this afternoon? Are you at all worried about your surgery this afternoon? No, it, it seems a little over dignified to call what's going to happen surgery. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is just where they took a little bit of time out. So you won't stay there very long? Oh, no. No. I think they have to be on their best behavior because they're right here. Right. In Washington. <laughs> <laughs> I know we're we're behind schedule. Here. Yeah, we have a meeting. Frank Yoke said right over there by that. Yeah, I think so. I must have got a lot of guys watching it. 
The other room, I was thanking the president for being so very kind to my daughter on her visits to your country. She has come back very enthused about all that she saw there. And this, uh, I think, this is, symbolizes our strong friendship and the esteem which we hold you. For 20 years you have nurtured political stability and economic prosperity in your country, and you've also been a force for peace in the region, in the OAU, in the UN, and elsewhere. So, incidentally, I know that I'm going to ask you if you have an agenda or something you'd like to start discussion, but first of all, I have to confess a little curiosity as to the recent OAU summit, whether you'd like to say something about that.
Vous avez pratiquement fait un miracle à cet égard. And it is definitely the, the path to follow. Et vous avez nettement tracé la voie à suivre. Oh, no. President El Haj Omar Bongo has been a very welcome guest at the White House. This has been a long awaited visit that has given us a chance to return the generous hospitality President Bongo personally accorded to so many representatives of this and earlier administrations. For 20 years, President Bongo has led his country in an era of stability and progress. Under his leadership, Gabon has consistently encouraged the peaceful settlement of regional disputes, siding with reason, dialogue, and moderation over bloodshed, war, and terror. Recognizing this, the Organization of African Unity asked President Bongo to help find a solution to the conflict in Chad. President Bongo has been a champion of African development and has worked tirelessly for the welfare of his people and all Africans. The United States and Gabon have cooperated closely in the effort to achieve these noble goals. We have enjoyed a positive and friendly relationship for the past two decades, a relationship that has served both our countries well. I've greatly valued President Bongo's advice and counsel concerning America's role in Africa's political and economic development. Today, President Bongo and I found ourselves in harmony about many of the key issues that confront Africa. We agreed that economic reform, which is the best hope for growth, self-sufficiency, and full economic sovereignty, must proceed. The United States has encouraged reform through special aid funds and increased contributions to international financial institutions. Gabon is contributing as well by setting an example taking positive steps toward reform on its own and in co coordination with the IMF. We admire this commitment and wish President Bongo great success. For our own part, we will soon be signing a bilateral debt rescheduling agreement with Gabon. U.S. investors have had a favorable experience in Gabon. President Bongo is working to make the investment climate even more attractive, and we're working with him to promote increased U.S. investment there. 
President Bongo and I also reviewed the situation in Southern Africa. We share the conviction that negotiated peaceful solutions to the disputes that afflict that region are urgently and clearly possible. The evil of apartheid is no exception. President Bongo and I are committed to working together along with other African leaders of goodwill to set the region on a peaceful course. The United States will continue to stand unequivocally by the side of Africa with our counsel, our friendship, and our assistance. Constructive meetings like the one I held today with President Bongo bolster that commitment. I was very much heartened by our discussions and pleased to have President Bongo as our guest. Monsieur le Président, je suis sensible, particulièrement sensible aux marques d'attention et de sympathie dont la délégation qui m'accompagne moi-même sommes l'objet de votre part au sein de la visite officielle que j'ai le privilège d'effectuer dans votre grand et beau pays. Je suis très touché par les aimables paroles que vous venez de prononcer à mon endroit, ainsi que par la confiance que vous placez dans mon pays. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président, et vous exprime au fond du cœur et surtout au nom du peuple gabonais et à mon nom personnel, les sentiments d'estime, d'amitié que nous éprouvons à l'égard de Votre Excellence et du peuple américain. Mr. President, I am deeply touched by the uh, attention lavished upon us and the friendship and sympathy that my delegation and myself have received during uh, this official visit which is now beginning, which it is my privilege to uh, carry out throughout your great and beautiful country. I'm also touched by your kind words uh, towards me and touched also by the confidence you display toward my country. May I thank you for this, Mr. President, and tell you in turn, on behalf of the people of Gabon and in my own name, how much esteem and friendship we feel towards you personally and towards the American people. Ce peuple américain qui s'est retrouvé pleinement en vous, découvrant au-delà de vos grandes quantités d'hommes d'État, les leaders capables de lui redonner confiance et de restituer à la nation américaine grandeur et dignité, aucun pays n'est indifférent de ce qui se passe aux États-Unis et le Gabon observe avec un grand intérêt les mutations profondes et rapides qui s'effectuent sous votre présidence au sein de la société américaine. Dans ce monde de politique, les États-Unis ont bâti sur leur nation, sur la diversité des origines de ses habitants. Ils sont devenus ainsi un exemple pour tous les pays épris de paix, de liberté, de solidarité. C'est pourquoi, en tant que chef d'État africain, Je puis vous affirmer que nous sommes très attentifs à tous les efforts entrepris par votre pays pour mettre fin non seulement à l'apartheid et aux conflits régionaux, mais aussi à la dégradation constante de la situation économique du continent africain. Pour notre part, nous avons mis sur pied, en collaboration avec le Fonds monétaire international et un programme d'austérité, qui nous impose présentement des contraintes draconières pour préserver le futur. Le Fonds monétaire international ainsi que le Club de Paris et de Londres ont pris acte de notre détermination ainsi que de notre volonté d'honorer nos créances. In you, uh, the American people finds its perfect embodiment because beyond your great statesman's like qualities, it has found the leader which has given back confidence and greatness and dignity back to the American nation. No country can stand idly by and watch what is going on in the United States, and Gabon watches with keen interest the deep and rapid shifts taking place under your leadership within American society. In this political world in which we live, the United States built its own nation 
predicated upon the diversity of uh, origins of uh, your people. Thus, you have become an example for all countries uh, which love liberty, solidarity, and peace. Therefore, speaking as a leader of an African nation, may I state that we follow very carefully all your efforts to put an end not only to apartheid and regional conflicts, but also to put an end to the steady deterioration of the economic situation of the African continent. For our part, Mr. President, we have set up with the IMF an austerity program which imposes drastic constraints upon us if we want to preserve the future. The IMF and the Paris and London clubs have uh, been made aware of our determination and of our will to honor our commitments. À cet égard, il me plaît de vous dire combien j'apprécie à leur juste valeur les mesures de réchelonnement de notre dette que vous avez bien voulu prendre. Dans cette situation fort difficile, nous souhaitons, Monsieur le Président, que l'esprit de solidarité finisse par l'emporter et que nos produits d'exportation aient accès aux marchés mondiaux à des prix rémunérateurs. La solidarité doit en effet devenir la réalité dans la mesure de nos rapports entre États. Dans cet esprit, la distance entre nos deux pays, la différence entre leur niveau de développement et leur poids économique ne doivent pas constituer des obstacles à une coopération multiforme. Le Gabon est un pays paisible, stable et accueillant, où règne la sécurité. Il n'est la chasse gardée de personne. Il cherche bien au contraire à diversifier ses partenaires dans, et dans ces contextes, nous savons qu'il y a la place pour votre pays. Les États-Unis peuvent, en effet, nous apporter leurs connaissances, leurs technologies, leurs savoir-faire et leurs capitaux afin de contribuer à notre développement. Monsieur le Président, les États-Unis et le Gabon entretiennent depuis plusieurs années des rapports harmonieux. Quelques entreprises américaines sont déjà installées au Gabon. Mais je souhaite pour l'avenir que nos relations bénéficient d'une impulsion nouvelle, surtout après la signature de l'accord bilatéral sur l'encouragement et la protection réciproque des investissements que nous venons de négocier. In this connection, may I tell you how much I appreciate to the full extent of their impact, the rescheduling measures taken vis-a-vis -vis our debt that you were kind enough to undertake in this very difficult situation. We wish, Mr. President, for the spirit of solidarity to prevail in the end and for our export commodities to gain access to world markets at a remunerative level. Solidarity, indeed, must become the reality in relationships among states. In this connection, distance between our two countries, the difference in our levels of development and in our respective economic impact must not be an obstacle to a cooperation in many areas. Gabon is a peaceful and peace-loving country, stable and a welcoming country, and there is security in Gabon. Gabon is the special preserve of no one. Gabon seeks to diversify its partners, and in this connection, we know that there is a place for your country. The United States, indeed, can bring us their know-how, their technology, and their capitals in order to contribute to our development. Mr. President, the United States and Gabon have for some years now enjoyed a harmonious relationship. We have a few American companies in Gabon already. What I wish for in the future is to see our relations enjoy a new impetus, particularly after we sign the bilateral agreement on treaty protection and investments. Enfin, Monsieur le Président, je forme de vœux fervents pour the cooperation between our two countries.